I welcome you all for this lecture series on 4G and 5G communication network. In this lecture, that is lecture number 10, we will briefly discuss about virtualized evolved packet core, that is VEPC, means virtualized evolved packet or core. This virtualized evolved packet core is a framework for mobile networks, voice networks, voice and data processing and switching and implemented using network functions virtualization, that is ZNFV. This VEPC virtualizes evolved packet core EPC functions supporting 4G, LTE, and 5G networks. This architecture enables improved scalability, flexibility, and cost effectiveness while enhancing network reliability and security. This is about the introduction of uh, this VEPC, Virtualized Evolved Packet Core. And uh, first we should know what is uh, VEPC. This Virtualized Evolved Packet Core, VEPC, a virtualized framework that enables mobile networks to efficiently process and switch voice and data traffic. By leveraging network function virtualization, VEPC decouples network functions from uh, the hardware, allowing for flexible deployment and management. This is the function of VEPC. And what are all the benefits of VEPC, Virtualized Evolved Packet Core? The benefits of Virtualized Evolved Packet Core include improved scalability and flexibility, reduced cost, the reduced capital and operational expenditures, fast time to market for new services especially, and enhanced network reliability and security. This VEPC enables network operators to dynamically allocate resources, optimize network performance, and support diverse use cases. Next, we'll move on to the architecture of VEPC. This comprises of VNF, MANO, MANO, and so many parts it, it consists of, it comprises of, and we'll see one by one. This uh, virtualized evolved packet core architecture mainly comprises of virtualized network function VNF and management and orchestration that we are calling it as MANO and NFE infrastructure, we are calling it as NFVI. Uh, VI. This means NFV infrastructure. This architecture enables a seamless integration with existing network infrastructure, facilitates efficient resource utilization, and support scalable and flexible network deployment. So we'll see uh, in this uh, in detail about this architecture. This virtualized evolved packet core is a framework for, as I've said, more mobile network voice and data processing, right? And switching in implemented using network function virtualization. This virtualized network functions, VNF, are software implementations of network functions that traditionally ran on uh, the hardware. In the context of virtualized evolved packet core, this VNFs include virtualized mobility management entity, VMME, this is VMME. This MME stands for what? Mobility management entity, servicing gateway, SGW, servicing gateway, and packet data network gateway v virtualized packet data network gateway pgw and vnf enable uh, network operators to deploy and manage network functions in a flexible and scalable manner reducing dependence on physical infrastructure next we will move on to mano mano this we are calling it as management and orchestration. This management and orchestration, Manu, is a critical component of virtualized evolved packet core architecture and it is responsible for managing and 
orchestrating virtualized network functions that is vnf this mano include functions such as vnf life cycle management resource allocation and network service orchestration this mano enables the network operators to efficiently manage vpc resources ensure seamless service delivery and optimize network performances next we will see nfp infrastructure that we are calling it as nfvi this nfe infrastructure that is nfvi provides the underlying infrastructure for virtualized evolved packet core deployment comprising com computing storage and network resources nfvi enables the creation of scalable and flexible infrastructure allowing network operators to dynamically allocate resources based on changing network demand this nfvi includes virtualization technologies such as hypervisors containerization and software defined networking that we are calling it as sdn ensuring efficient resource utilization and optimized network performances this this is the overall diagram of uh, this vepc architecture diagram and uh, so as i have said uh, what is this uh, this uh, vnf means uh, virtualized network functions and this mano uh, represents management and orchestration and uh, this nfv infra this nfvi represents nfv infrastructure so this diagram typically depicts the the, the some of the components you know that is virtualized mobility management entity vmme virtualized service gateway this is sgw and virtualized packet data network packet data network gateway and this mano components vnf manager and orchestration manager this nfvi component example hypervisor and stn controller so this diagram provides a visual representation of vepc architecture facilitating and understanding of complex integrations between components and enabling effective planning deployment and management of vepc networks then we'll move on to the key component of vepc the key component of virtualized evolved packet code vepc include virtualized mobility management entity see here virtualized mobility and entity virtualized servicing gateway virtualized packet data network gateway these are all the main key component of vepc and now these components work together to enable efficient voice and data processing switching and routing and the next one is use cases of vepc the virtualized evolved packet core vepc supports various use cases including 4g lte networks and 5g networks iot applications and smart cities this vepc enables network operators to efficiently manage diverse network services ensure seamless connectivity and support innovations and applications then uh, next uh, coming to the conclusion in conclusion this vepc uh, virtualized evolved packet core is a critical component of next generation mobile networks enabling a scalable flexible and secure architecture by leveraging nfp and virtualizing epc functions vepc uh, supports 5g network uh, success and facilitates innovative applications or and services so that's all about vepc hope everyone enjoyed about this lecture the remaining things we'll discuss in the next lecture thank you